In this video, we're going to look at a WordPress plugin called Weeksija. <laughs> I'm on their site right now. This is a WordPress plugin that handles newsletters. It handles the uh, creation of newsletters. It handles the subscription to, to newsletters. And it's all done within WordPress, which is an absolutely, I think, a great feature and a great plugin. So I've already downloaded this plugin, have installed it into my WordPress. Let's jump to the dashboard. We get a Weeksija entry in our dashboard menu and we have three options underneath there. Let's first look at the settings. Here you can set up the uh, what you want what you want to show up in your footer, the uh, email address you want to use to be notified about subscriptions, on subscriptions, um, how you want to send your emails out, their their website, the WeSeeJaw website, which is WeSeeJaw.com. Highly recommends using a third party and they have some some recommendations as far as, as who to go with and and some good deals with them as well. And I would also encourage you to look at those versus doing it through your web host. There will be limitations on the number of emails you can send out through your web host, etc. So using a third party is is recommended. So just just the normal settings that you would do on, on a on a uh, newsletter subscription. But the beautiful thing about this plugin though is is these two options, creating your newsletter and handling subscribers. So I don't forget to look at subscribers. Let's look, look at that because I know I'm going to get excited when we get into newsletters and showing you how, how easy it is to create newsletters. It automatically brings in uh, any uh, users that you had already put in as, as a WordPress user. It brings those in and you can add lists to make multiple lists. Another thing that's, that's a part of this plugin, it, it also adds a widget and I'm going to jump to another screen here to show you this. It adds a widget that you can put on your sidebar so people can easily subscribe to your newsletter. And in that widget, you have the option of what list you want them to subscribe to. There's only one list here, which is the default list. But if, you, if I had more lists, I could select which list this, this opt-in form is, is for. It prompts you for what you want to ask for, first name, last name, or both. Just the normal parameters for the widget. All right, so that's the, the widget. Let's go back to our subscriber list and, and take a look at newsletters. We're going to work on the default newsletter that comes with the install. We're going to edit that newsletter. And I, I want to show you how quick it is to create newsletters and to um, edit newsletters. So this is the default newsletter that comes in. One exception here, it did come with a header that I already deleted. Once you remove a header from a newsletter, you're going to get this message that you drop in your own, lo own logo. So this is the newsletter right here, this, this section. And there's various um, text, images, headings, di dividers, which are these lines that we can place in our newsletter. And all this information that we see in the newsletter comes from this area here, this right sidebar. We have content. So you have the type of content you can add is just plain text. Or you can add a WordPress post, a divider is a, a line to just divide sections up. You can also add social bookmarks, and those social bookmarks we actually saw down here in the newsletter. So just as an example here, let's add, well, I'm going to put a logo up here. So I'm going to click on this images. And I've already brought in some images by clicking on add image. And let's say I want to bring in the logo. So I'm just click and drag this at the top. And it's placed that logo at the top of that newsletter. And let's say I want to add, I want to add a section in here. So I'm going to go back to content and simply click and drag plain text over here. I'm going to start with a heading here. So let's put in here upcoming training. And I'm going to turn that into a heading. That's our first text box, which now shows up right here. And underneath that, we're going to add another text box. I'm going to put in the specifics about the upcoming training. So just click and drag. And I'm going to open up a notepad and grab some text here. And I'm going to add a uh, logo to the left of that. So I'm going to go back to images, click and drag, and put the image to the left of that text. So as I click and drag this over, it's given me uh, dashed areas showing me where it's going to place that. I've added a section to the newsletter. Let's look at adding a post. So let's go back to our content. Got a WordPress post. I'm just going to click and drag. Let's put that above the upcoming training. It opens up a list of the posts that I've placed on this that are on this blog. And let's do one called how to use Twitter. 
and it brings in it brings in the first image along with an excerpt from that post. Then you, under each of these sections, when you click on it, you can continue editing that. So if you want to edit the uh, the text, the content, you can easily do that. If I want to remove this area at the top of this newsletter that just explained kind of how to do things, simply click on it, get to editing mode, and at the top left there, I can exit to remove that. So now we've added a logo, we've added a post, and we've added just some text boxes with information that we want to put out on our newsletter. That's how quickly it is to to create and edit newsletters. Just a couple other things here, the different themes. I have a couple themes installed. It comes with one theme by default. You can easily add other themes by clicking on install themes, and it displays the available themes for the freebie version of the newsletter. That's the themes that are in that have the gray headline. The uh, orange headlines are for premium. And the premium subscription, I believe, is $99 per year for the premium. And there's some nice features that you get with that besides additional themes. So I'm going to take the time to install themes, but that's how you can add more themes. You also have the flexibility of, of your different styles, how you want your headings to show up, what what font to use, etc. Now be aware in the newsletters, go out in emails, email fonts are limited. So it keeps the selection of fonts fairly limited, which is what you'd want to do. If you want to, if you want to use other fonts, you can create an image. So that's a quick introduction to this to this WordPress plugin called WeSeeJaw, available at WeSeeJaw.com.